CEO of Bitcoin Exchange found dead in Singapore. American CEO of Virtual Currency Exchange was found dead near her home in Singapore. A police spokesman said that there is no suspicion of foul play. February 26th, death of 28-year-old Autumn uh, Radke. Meaning officers do not suspect murder. Seeing as though she was involved with major money. Yeah. Big, 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 big money. I'm going to rule out that there's still the possibility. Just because there's large amounts of money being involved. But her death has been classified as na unnatural, which means a misadventure, accident, or suicide. Her family, her company first met us, said it was a uh, shocked and saddened by a tragic loss. Now I'm going to leave you a link to this article right here so you can look and you can decide for yourself how you feel. Okay? Now... Bitcoin and metacurrencies have been rising. A few of them have been following, falling, but, you know, that's just given. A given, okay? Bitcoin, from when it was first released, is now worth six times the amount that it was years ago. A lot of people are investing in this because, you know, like, uh, they're losing faith in things like the dollar, so pretty soon, a lot of people think that you can actually buy things from, with your bitcoins. And all these other cryptocurrencies that are not printed on any money at all. And me, I think these cryptocurrencies are really nothing more than a scam. Because, well, like they say in this video, one of the uh, cryptocurrencies actually wound up being hacked and destroyed. And hackers want to making off with much, much, much money. My thoughts on this, that's why I would rather invest in gold and silver. I mean, just keep enough real money, hard money, or if it comes to the point, nothing but bitcoins and things of that nature, cryptocurrencies. Just keep enough of that and then keep everything else in hard assets, things that you have a hold of. Uh, this is just... I saw this coming from a mile away. Things like this happening. <clears throat> but it's a tragic story, and I can see more and more of these CEOs of uh, cryptocurrency guys falling in some way, shape, or form. Whether they supposedly suicide or... Like in this case, well, like in the case in the video I mentioned here before, the company just falling out. The doggy coin? I'm glad I did not invest in that. Because <laughs> apparently it's garbage. But, as I said before, cryptocurrencies can be hacked, the companies can be destroyed, and people can make off with a lot, a lot of money. Another thing is that cryptocurrencies are not liked by governments because, well, the pot, uh, I can't remember the name, uh, Silk Road. A, uh, underground website where people could hire out murders, buy arms, buy drugs, and all that other crap like that. There is heavy use of the Bitcoin in that, too. So, yeah. I mean, think about that for a moment. Governments are not going to like this. They're going to try and shove this shit under the rug as fast as they possibly can. Whew. But because of the public support, it hasn't happened yet. As such, that's my views and opinions on it. I want to know what you guys think. I do. Like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel. In the end, I hope everything goes well for you guys. Have a nice day.